Good day everyone, we are solving this equation. 2 to the power 2x plus 1 plus 5 times 2 to the x subtract 3 is equal to 0. And what we want to do is make a substitution. So we will substitute y is equal to 2 to the x. And we will write 2 to the 2x plus 1 in the form 2 to the x squared times 2 to the 1 okay plus 5 to the 2x subtract 3 is equal to 0 so we have this here now and x times 2 would be 2x and from the laws of indices 2x plus 1 is represented this way okay because when the base numbers are the same you can add the powers all right so 2 to the x squared is the same as saying 2 to the 2x and 2 to the 2x multiplied by 2 to the power 1 is the same as saying 2 to the 2x plus 1 so now we substitute y is equal to 2 to the x so we have y squared here and 2 to the power 1 can come in front as 2. So we have 2y squared plus 5. Now we substitute for 2x as y. Subtract 3 is equal to 0. So we want to factorize this quadratic expression here. So we have 2y squared plus 6y minus y minus 3 is equal to 0. So we found two terms to replace the middle term with. And when we multiply 2 by negative 3, we get negative 6. Okay. So let's factorize this now. 2y into y plus 3. And then we want to get the same bracket over here, y plus 3. So we have to choose negative 1 now, out here. That's equal to 0. Let's factorize this completely. y plus 3 times 2x sub 2y subtract 1 equal to 0. Let's solve for y. So we have two possibilities here. We have y plus 3 is equal to 0. In that case, y would be equal to negative 3 when we subtract 3 from both sides. And we also have 2y subtract 1 is equal to 0. In that case, y would be equal to 1 over 2 when we solve this equation. So we have two cases here now. We have y is equal to negative 3, which implies... 2 to the x equal negative 3 and we have y is equal to half which implies 2 to the x is equal to half so it is impossible for x to have any real value here okay because 2 to the x can never give a negative number, so this is not possible. This is undefined. Okay, so we eliminate this possibility here. So 2 to the x equal and half looks like the only viable possibility. So what we will do is we will take logs on both sides, log to the base 10 that is. So log of 2 to the x equal log a half. Use the power law now, x times log of 2 is equal to log of a half. And x divided both sides by log of 2, we have log of a half all over log of 2. So we have to work this out. In our calculators, log of a half divided by log of 2 
so 0.5 log divided by 2 log equals negative 1 so we get x is equal to negative 1 and that is our answer thanks for watching have a good day